The Pipe Smokers and Pharisees was a remarkable publication printed in the 1960s. I'd like to talk about that while enjoying a pipe. Howdy all, Virginia Piper here. This morning I checked out Pipe Professor's recent video called A Changing Tide. He discussed the warning labels that must adorn uh, tins of pipe tobacco and cigar boxes and how this often interferes with the artistry depicted on those items. I totally agree. I also agree with his assessment that the messages on those warning labels are hardly deterrents to pipe smoking. I guess we should probably be glad that many of us are spared graphic images that must appear on those products in some places. The pipe professor described The Pipe Smokers and Pharisees, a publication containing articles, poems, stories, and letters that celebrated this pastime. It was printed and sent through the regular mail as it predated the internet. Subscribers often submitted material for the publication. The good professor asked if there were other pipe smokers like himself who would be interested in being involved with something like that. You know, basically receiving and contributing to um, kind of an emphasis like publication through regular email. Well, numerous online pipe smoking communities already function this way using forums. But upon further thought, you know, I'm thinking I'm a, I am a very tactile person and I enjoy going through a catalog from pipes and cigars more so than um, just going through their website. So maybe I might be interested in a printed publication. The Pipe Smokers and Pharisees did eventually make its way to the internet years ago. And early in my pipe smoking experience, I loved reading it. In fact, while exploring the Pharisees or pouring over old ads for pipes and pipe tobacco, I found myself oddly nostalgic for times I never lived through or never lived through as an adult. Times when pipe smoking was more common, more admired, a time when there were more opportunities for people to fellowship together with their pipes in person. But I think there's a deeper reason for this nostalgia. See, not only is a pipe used for enjoyment, like it is right now, it's also been a tool for reflection and thinking. And there was a whole lot more of that in times past than there is today where People often react and work exclusively off their feelings. And you know, there has been a marked decrease in pipe smoking in recent years. And I can't help but see a correlation between the two trends. But 
there is an upside. The internet has allowed us to explore pipes and pipe tobacco from craftsmen all over the world. And it has allowed us to fellowship with pipe smokers from all over the world. And that is a good thing. Have a good one, y'all.